재밌네요. 다시 오랜만에 하는데. 공대 양이네. 오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오
George Springer the next to hit. He'll start things out. Five off now. I'm paddle post time. Here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. One and one to count. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hit hard to short. Fielded cleanly. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Slapped hard the opposite way. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides oh, of the plate with pop, it's a really defense, nice. you name it. GM's dream right here. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Right here. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. There's a two-seam fastball that's fought off foul off to the right. Oh, High and yeah. deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. Count even at two and two. And he uh, punches yeah. out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Now the 1-0. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brantley on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the... And that'll bring up Buster Posey. We'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Now that's popped up. Lindor is there. Back to play, one away. Driving in for Houston, Jose Altuve. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Oh, and he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like ah. to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Yeah. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Nice field. Center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Michael Bradley ah, is in for the me. third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And there's ball one. Oh, 
maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Three balls and a strike Ooh, to Houston's yeah. left fielder. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's going, running. Easy transfer throw to second base. He Save swings down. and misses. Throw down. Nice and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Now the payoff pitch home. This one's down to third. In time to first and there are two away. So a runner at second, two down now. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder, Christian Yelich. First offering on its way. Ball one. Drilled on the ground is short. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good effort nice here. He's well nice safe at first and there are two on and two out now. Oh, nice. Boy, you know, Dio, every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it nice by the field. Okay. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. In the score, the runner from third. Boy, you know, in today's game, Dio, pitchers are being taught high velocity. Go get ahead and strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. Pitch is popped up. Santana near the first base bag. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. In now for Cleveland, Oscar Mercado. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I would agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. And that's through into left, so a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. the Astros skipper up out of the Houston dugout and he's going to motion for his bullpen here that'll do it for the starter tonight he'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point Carlos Santana is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike it's 0 and 1 and it's quickly 0 and 2 working for the punch out and the offering stays alive still 0 and 2 Nothing in two count yeah. and the pitch. Ah. There it goes the other way, and he got a that lot of it high it. and deep to left center ah. field. And it's gone. Well, you can see when that one was tracking towards home. That was a hanging breaker right over the middle part of the plate. And that one wasn't coming back. Ah, shit, just a little too on the into the box now, Domingo Santana. As he'll take a look at a curveball that drops in there on the outer half, it's strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Fouled away. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. That off, uh... The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Ball one to start the at bat. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. 
couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Fouled off. The 2 2. And he fouls this one off. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. He got the lead off it. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Not quite yeah, out of here. It's off down. the out of town scoreboard. Boy, D roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing carries off the wall. Mm. Alfred does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding it to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. Just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. Zach Grinke comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 21. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh one the count. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Yeah. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane. Yeah. And that's out number two. Who might see out? Now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. So far. Oh, Bing Ming. 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 Oh, on the and it's fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He can pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Three and two now. Mm. 이 이런 부위가 맛있어. 맛있다. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. Runner on first with two. Counter. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Brantley. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Here's George Springer. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First offering on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Oh, the one up. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Yeah. Ready for another shot now. Carlos Correa. He was a ground out victim last time up. Oh, look at the sliding stop. The throw to first. He's out. Riding in once again, Yuli Gurriel. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Naquin will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail it four to one. All set for the start of the inning. And with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Francisco Lindor. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. And that's in there for strike one.
slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Around first, he's digging for second. And the tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Friend Moraes is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Two and one. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Here now the 2 2. Oh. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Tyler Naquin waits on deck. A shot down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Stepping in, Tyler Naquin. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Strike one to start the at bat. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery is too late at second. And the bases are loaded here on what will be scored as an infield single. Mercado. Standing in now, Oscar Mercado. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh, Her ball close, but it's one and one. Base is loaded here, nobody out. Chop now to short. Can they get two? Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Ready to take his hacks again. Carlos Santana. As he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Ready on 0 and 2. Fouled off. Runners are at second and third with one down. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Striding into the box, Domingo Santana. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Only plays off one and zero. A two and zero count to the Indians' left fielder. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So. Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Roberto Perez would be next. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Nice to count. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Cleveland. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Buster Posey, softly hit out towards short. And that's the first down. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. A ball and a strike ah, to Houston's leadoff batter. And it's one and two. Nah, nah. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. 
Yeah, and they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. High in the air out to center field. And eight innings have come and gone now yeah, as the yeah. inning is over. Digging in and looking for more, Roberto Perez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Roberto. Stavinsky enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ah, the the first Come on, bring it in. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. I'm going to watch that. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he's nice struck hit. out again. That's the third time he's gone down on the strikes in this one. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Down the first baseline, Guriel picks it up, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Coming to the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. A ball and no strikes. Two and oh. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hey, looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Right side and right into the shift. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Striding in to start the ninth, Christian Yelich. And they'll need him to get something going here. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. Well, when you're out there trying to wrap up a CG, a complete game, you definitely don't want to start the leadoff guy with three straight balls. This is popped up. Ah. Ramirez over to his right. Makes the play, one away. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that misses for ball one. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You've got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Outside with that delivery, and it's 3-0 and now. And with one out in the ninth, he's just now coming up on his 100th pitch of the ball game. Yeah, Matty, he's going to finish this one on adrenaline if he's allowed to. We'll see how the manager plays this one. I know guys like Dan are locked and loaded in this position. Oh, this, this is right now a dream if you're out in that bullpen right now. Your starting pitcher gets you into the ninth inning. The guys that if they do get up in the ninth inning, these are the best.
best relievers, and they're just lurking out there. What a terrific job up to this point. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. At the plate, George Springer. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Yeah, it's just There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Man. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. So the Indians strike the first blow in this league championship series. They certainly do, Matt, but this postseason has now moved into a seven-game series territory where the task is closer to a marathon than a sprint. One down, that's good, but still three more to go. Yeah, I would agree with that, Dan. Nice job by them gaining the early upper hand in this series, but this one's just getting started. Now, if they come out tomorrow and stack another win in game two, that would be something to talk about. Let's see how this thing unfolds. We 